Do you remember when AI crypto coins went absolutely crazy and you may have FOMO'd into so many different coins because AI as a narrative is extremely bullish? Well, today we're going to be taking a look at some specific AI coins that seem to have a bottom. We're going to give you the details as to what they've been up to over the last few weeks. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash the like button if you enjoy the type of content we're putting out as well as if you want even more value check out the vip discord you're going to get access to private sales so the projects before they come out to the public you're also going to be able to see what i am doing in the crypto space and don't forget we still have our free discord all of those links are in the description below so first and foremost i think it's super important to understand where we are in the crypto narratives right now and one of the things i like to do is to go on to dune analytics i will leave a link to this dashboard down below but this gives us an idea of the narratives and how they are doing over given periods of time so if we take a look at you know the last seven days here if we go see what is the number one narrative what is doing well over these last seven days we have nfts doing a significantly better than other narratives but if we get down to you know game five we can see over the last seven days so over the last week it's up about two percent but if we go and find your ai coins we can see that over the last week these guys haven't really done much in, in the sense of the entire narrative and if we go down into the nitty gritty of you know the last three months and see what ai coins have been doing over the last three months well they are down about 44 percent so we have real world assets we also saw you know the massive hype with blackrock with rwa coins Coins and tokens and we can see that over the last three months most of those have pulled back we see the same thing with ai and we also see the same thing with gamefi so this kind of just paints a picture as to where your coins and where your narratives could be at any given point in time depending on the time frame you're looking at so with that being said let's take a look at some ai coins that seem to have a bottomed out and to look at the first one we can talk about a pal ai this one here is sitting around at 28 cents it is up about nine percent for the day today and if we take a look at its market cap and you know circulating supply we have a market cap of 220 million circulating supply of about 82 percent which is definitely good because as you guys know tokenomics is a key to any projects and the more tokens are in circulation the less dilution we're going to have in the future and dilution equals to selling pressure so obviously the higher the number here the better it is so we have a fully diluted market cap of 270 million and to take a look at the last let's say seven days well we have definitely seen you know pal around 24 cents and now it's at 27 cents it did go up to about 29 cents prior to this so to just give you a brief understanding of what pal ai is we are talking about AI chat box. So if we're talking about, you know, your favorite website and you talking to the customer support of that website, well, they could likely be using a chat integration and an AI integration such as the services offered by Pal AI. And of course, it doesn't stop there. They have other products as well, and they are catering their chat box or their AI agents for different use cases, not only chat boxes, but of course, we can talk about game integration. Think of the NPCs in the games you play. Well, they can all be powered by PAL's ecosystem. Now, something very important to note here is that PAL is continuing to partner up with many different projects on a day-to-day -day basis. They've recently partnered with Legion Ventures, which is another way of revolutionizing VC investments. So they're going to be, you know, utilizing the PAL AI agents within a legion they are essentially bringing in partnerships a day after day and this is essentially just making it more accessible 
or Pal AI is essentially just selling their services to many different projects. And that is, of course, getting the word out on Pal. So definitely keep an eye out on these different partnerships that they are building. Because again, we are talking about AI agents. We're also talking about, you know, these NPCs that can be used within games. They also have crypto trading bots, sniper bots, and so on and so forth. But if we go into the nitty gritty of the price chart for PAL, well, we can see that during the crypto AI, you know, rush, PAL AI reached about 90 cents. And as we can see, it quickly went all the way back down to 17 cents. So we had highlighted some key levels of support in our VIP Discord. Of course, have a look at that Discord if you are interested in, you know, getting more alpha. But in and around this range of 27 to 30 cents, we had some decent support, unfortunately, with the events of crypto over the last few weeks, well, things have dwindled down. Bitcoin well all the way down to, you know, that $59,000 range. So PAL went to 17 cents and now it's bounced back up to this 27 cents. But this is now going to act as resistance because, of course, support turns into resistance. So I would be looking for something like this for PAL before I get in. I want to be able to see if it's able to break this level here around that 20 seven cents 28 cents so i would be looking at you know pal coming up here having a daily close above this 27 28 cents before continuing on to this 31 cents and again doing a similar thing finding support here and continuing on with the upside because i still believe in ai cryptos and i think pal is definitely one to keep monitoring over the weeks to come so if we talk about project number two well aioz is definitely one you need to pay attention to because right now it's up about 10% for the day it's sitting at 58 cents a market cap of a 640 million fully diluted market cap of 1.1 billion and what we need to know here is that you know AIOZ over the last week or so is up about 36 percent and it is once again outperforming many of the different altcoins that we are monitoring so went from about 42 cents to 58 cents and if you're unfamiliar with aioz well we are talking about of course ai we're talking about deepin as well but the reason you know this is such a big platform is because they have hundreds of thousands of nodes contributing to their you know storage to their computing power which is making this a reliable infrastructure network built on AI and deep in networks. So if we take a look at what AIOZ powers and what these nodes are essentially doing for the ecosystem, well, of course, we're talking about AI. We're talking about decentralized AI computation, a network of power that is generated by the people running these nodes. Similarly, with a storage, we can see here that people running nodes are essentially providing storage to the ecosystem, allowing for cheaper and faster secure storage. We also have the streaming availability here. So this in itself to me, you know, AIOZ is definitely one of the infrastructures that I am looking at in this AI space. And if we take a look at the nodes and just how many nodes are running right now, well, we can see that we have 180,000 nodes this has delivered about 6700 terabytes worth of data and as you are running a node you are getting those aioz tokens so definitely you know a powerful infrastructure network and if we take a look at the aioz chart here well we saw a peak of roughly a dollar eight back in the peak of you know ai crypto runs then it went all the way down to this 40 cents it does seem like it found support right here and right now we are closing in on the previous levels of support which was around 60 cents so very similar scenario for aioz i would wait for it to break this 60 cent range come back test it as support build this 
this support and push up to the upside. Now, we also have this 100-day EMA, this blue line here that is going to act as resistance. Right now, it's at 62 cents. I would imagine that this is going to, you know, come down here as the price of AOZ comes up. So we may have the 100-day EMA and a previous resistance acting as resistance. So that is definitely an area of, you know, resistance that I'm going to be watching. And if we can push past that level, it could definitely turn into support and a push AIOZ for the next step. Now, project number three is a cash network. And the reason I'm putting this one on our list today is because if we compare it to the bigger, you know, brother that it has in the render network, we are going to see that a cash network is actually down a lot more than what render is. So a cash, of course, your decentralized GPU cloud, that is basically what it is doing. If we take a look at its market cap, we're talking about a $875 million company, a valuation or fully diluted valuation of $1.4 billion. And over the last week, a cash is up again 29%. So definitely, you know, PAL AI was up about 30% the last week. We had AIOZ very similar and we have a cash very similar once again. So you are noticing here that some of these projects, even as they come down, you know, they are going to bounce well and better than other AI projects. So it's very important to keep an eye out on these different narratives and these different coins within each narrative. So if we take a look at the comparison between a cash and a render, I want to show you guys this because we have a cash over the last week, definitely outperforming render. But if we go over the last month, well, we do see that, you know, render was or a cash was definitely lower than render. Back here, we had render that was down about 28% while a cash was down 43%. This is back on June 18th. And as we can see, a cash has caught up to render, but they have been very, very similar throughout the, you know, the last months. So this discrepancy, in my opinion, was definitely to be caught up. If we talk about a cash versus render over the last few months, we can see that they act very similarly. And here a cash is outperforming render by a slight margin. So definitely as you are watching both render and a cash, if one is outperforming the other, I would be a betting person that, you know, these are going to eventually catch up to one another. And that is exactly what we see over the last seven days or the last month we see that a cash has caught up to render so keep an eye on both render and a cash of course render being the bigger company here but if we take a closer look at a cash's chart here we are around a very crucial level of resistance once again so these are daily candles we are not able to close above three dollars and 70 cents we see it time and time again as it did act as support here you know back from the beginning of february into april into later parts of april into may now we are below it so this is definitely going to be your level of resistance and again similar with the other ones i would be waiting to see if we are able to push above this find it as support and continue onwards for a cash now you obviously have to continue monitoring bitcoin bitcoin over the weekend and over the day yesterday has done quite well sitting around at 63,000. but we are getting to this 100 day ema which could provide some resistance and slow the markets down now last but not least more of a tiny altcoin in the ai space we can talk about dexcheck.ai this one here is sitting at a 12 million dollar market cap 33 million in terms of fdv and if we take a look at you know what the impacts of the ai run had on dex check it went from about three and a half cents where we are right now all the way to this 18 cent mark yes it is essentially all the way back to the beginning of the run so again this is definitely a riskier play as it is much more of a smaller cap than the other coins that we just looked at but i wouldn't put it past that you know if we have another ai run in the crypto space i would imagine that dexjack is going to perform well during this you know phase 
And they have been burning tokens every Sunday as up of this point. And they are continuing to make their website better. So if we take a look at DexCheck AI, this is a website I've been using. You guys already know about it, but they are continuing to add new tools to make your crypto research easier or to, of course, you know, do your token analysis. And this platform is essentially powered by AI. So they definitely have a whole lot of different tools here that I am always using, specifically the Crypto Whales Tracker, always looking at some of the large transactions that are happening on the blockchain. And they have a free side of it, and they also have a paid version of it. But ultimately, as they continue building out this tool, I would imagine that when we get that next AI run, we may see DexCheck do well. But of course, it is a lot more risky, in my opinion, compared to, you know, PAL AI, AIOZ, Akash, and Render, because it is just a small company. But risk to reward, that is entirely up to you. Now, if we take a look at its chart, well, as we can see, now, if we take a look at its chart, well, this is exactly what we see. It is down quite heavily, about 80% from its local high back in march so again you are kind of getting a nice entry here but it doesn't mean that this one has to go back up because you know it has been beaten down here we are just gonna have to wait and see what happens and i wanted to throw another one in there agi or delizium we can see it went all the way back down to 15 cents and it does look like it's sitting around 22 cents right now, but it is below this 100 day EMA. Gonna have to have a lot of volume to push it back up here, find support and continue on because ever since the beginning of June, it hasn't been able to hold this 100 day EMA. So another one to watch out in the AI space. So with all of that being said, I am still a big believer of artificial intelligence. I do believe we're going to have another run in AI coins in the months to come, whether it is, you know, after summer or during summer, we're going to have to wait and see, but I am positioning myself in some of the more favorable coins that I want to have in the AI space. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know which coins you're looking at. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, check out the VIP Discord and the free Discord, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.